Hi friends, welcome to Curious Vet channel. I am Dr. Mausina. The topic for today's video is shell diseases in turtles. So here I just want to discuss mainly about two important shell diseases in turtles that is septicemic cutaneous ulcerative disease and integumental ulcerative disease. Also there is one another disease called shell root that we will discuss later at the end of the video. So first of all let's see about septicemic cutaneous ulcerative disease or SCUD. So this is a shell disease in aquatic turtles. Here you can see the lesions. It, it happens mainly in the ventral part of the body. That is the shell at the ventral part of the turtle. Then coming to the etiology. Citrobacter frondi is the causative agent. It is a gram negative anaerobic bacteria and it is it is a road. It is a road shaped bacteria. You can see from the picture. So it is a facultative anaerobic gram negative bacteria of the family Enterobacteriaceae and having a long road shape with a typical length of 1 to 5 micrometer. And these cells generally have several flagella but some are not having flagella and they are non-motile. However, various bacteria have been isolated from disease skin and shell. And serratious species may act synergistically by facilitating entry of Citrobacter frondi. When coming to the clinical signs, the scoots are pitted and may slough with an underlying purulent discharge. So these are the shells of SCUD infected turtles. You can see the pitted scoots here. They may slough later and there will be underlying purulent discharge. The other clinical signs are anorexia and lethargy. Let's see what are the postmortem lesions. There will be petechial hemorrhages on the shell and skin, and liver necrosis and abscessation can also be found as well. Let's see what is the treatment. Wound debridement and systemic antibiotics are recommended in this disease and chloramphenicol is the treatment of choice. Now let's see what are the methods for prevention of this disease. Prevention is mainly aimed at good husbandry and good sanitation is paramount for prevention of this disease. Move on to that's all about septicemic cutaneous ulcerative disease. Now let's move on to the second disease that is integumental ulcerative disease. So the causative agent for integumental ulcerative disease or IUD is Vibrio chitinovora. It is a common infectious agent of crustaceans. And the clinical signs are erythema and pitting of the shell with ulceration but an important point to be noted is septicemia is uncommon in this disease. And treatment is just topical iodine application is recommended in addition to antibiotics. And prevention, that is the practice of feeding crayfish is often implicated in this condition. So it should be discouraged to prevent the disease. And there is one other dis shell disease called shell root and it is caused by chronic bacterial infection in aquatic turtle and it can be distinguished by a whitish appearance of the shell. And the major risk factors for this disease is also the same like poor husbandry and dirty environment. 
so these are the different shell diseases in turtle septicemic cutaneous ulcerative disease integumental ulcerative disease and shell rot so if you find the video useful please like it and share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video i will be uploading at least one video every week so see you soon with another video thank you